Hey, this is Danny Jones, and uh, I've been casting my own uh, mirror blanks for quite some time. I've uh, been casting uh, plate glass mirror blanks for quite a while with uh, great success, actually. And uh, those have been turned out pretty well, and, and, and I'm in preparation right now for casting a borosilicate mirror blank, aka Pyrex. And uh, what you see in the view right now is a uh, an old uh, high fire ceramics kiln. It was decommissioned quite a, quite a while ago, and uh, I got it for pretty cheap. And uh, the, the settings on it were just high, medium, and low, and and that's not really good for for casting mirror blanks when you uh, need to be within a degree or two. So. Uh, Right now, I have a mold inside the kiln. I'm getting ready to cast a mirror blank, a Pyrex blank, and uh, there's a mold in there, and uh, there's no glass in it yet. And uh, what we need to do is we need to fire it, and we need to uh, degas the mold. We need to uh, get all the residual air um, that might be trapped in the, in the construction of the mold, um, and. Uh, we want to heat that up and uh, let those gases escape. Um, you see some uh, kiln plugs over to your left, uh, center there. And uh, just to the right of the kiln plugs, you see a little white block there. And that's uh, propping the lid open just a little bit. So what I've done is I, I built the mold. And uh, these molds usually run for several times before they fail. And I was just at a time where I had to build a new mold. So what I did is I built a new mold and uh, to, the glass will stick to uh, anything it touches and it's a real mess to uh, clean up if it uh, touches anything so um, I uh, installed a, uh, a liner a ceramic infused fiber felt if you will um, inside the inside the mold to line the mold so that the glass wouldn't stick to it and uh, the, that, that liner has a, an organic uh, binder in it. Uh, when you first get it, you can bend it and cut it and shape it and do whatever you want to it. But uh, after, after it's fired, uh, it's really brittle and it just falls apart. So what we do is we, we line the mold with this uh, ceramic fiber felt and uh, we, we burn the organic material out of it. And that, that's another reason that I, I do a pre-fire to, to firing the, or to casting the blank. I want to get the, all the residual air out of the mold, and uh, I want to get the, uh, the the binder burned out of the ceramic felt fiber that I've got lined in the mold so it don't stick. Um, I've also took the trouble of, uh, uh, before I put the, the, the fiber felt down, uh, I, I gave the mold a good coat of uh, kiln wash, um, a high fire kiln wash so it didn't, you know, if it would happen to seep through the mold in various places or whatever, it would uh, help prevent that from sticking because uh, during annealing and cooling, which takes a long time, if it's stuck to anything, if you don't keep, if you don't cool it just exactly right, it'll just crack the blank right, in, right, in, right down the middle and it'll ruin it. So, so right now we're doing the pre-fire. We're uh, degassing the mold, and uh, we're burning out the organic binder that 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 I line the mold with. And uh, here's just a little bit of the organic binder. It really just does look like a felt. You can bend it, you can fold it, you know, whatever you want to it. And it's uh, really easy to cut. It's ceramic infused, and uh, what, once that once you put that in the mold and uh, fire the binder out, if you just would do that, it would just bleak off. It's just it becomes that brittle that quick. So what what we're doing here is uh, we're firing the oven up to uh, about 1,100 degrees is what they recommend to burn the binder the, the binder out. So we're doing that. Plus 1100 degrees is a pretty good temperature to uh, degas the mold. So we're, we're, we're degassing the mold right now. And we want to fire this up to about 1100 degrees. 
and uh, I'll just pan the camera here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a uh, the target temperature is the green. And it's set at 1100 degrees and right now it's at 885 degrees and climbing 86 and I've had this running about oh maybe 15 or 20 minutes so it's doing a pretty good job even with the lid propped open 888 889 it's just climbing right up there uh, we're getting close to the, the target temperature and when it gets to the target temperature I'll just shut her down and and, and be done and then I'll load, wait till it cools off and I'll load the glass up in the mold and uh, here in a few hours we'll uh, begin the firing process which ne takes nearly uh, four days to complete. I'm going to pan this back over to the oven and uh, you really can't tell now but there for a while the, the the lid's propped open just a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch or so. And as that binder burns out, it lets off a, a hell of a smoke and a, a hell of a, a smell, a heavy odor. And uh, I can smell that right now. And it's really, it's a really heavy odor. In fact, I had to take a walk out of the shop here a couple of times just so I could catch my breath. But uh, it, it, the temperature's climbing. It's getting to uh, getting to uh, close to the uh, point where we need it to be. Once it hits 1,100 degrees, I'll, I'll shut it off and let it cool down naturally. And then uh, here in a few hours, we'll when it's cool enough, I'll load the glass and and uh, we'll start melting that borosilicate glass. And this is my first attempt at a, at a borosilicate. Uh, like I said, I usually pass uh, glass or cast plate glass mirrors. I've done that uh, several times with much success. Borosilk glass is a, a little tougher to cast, but uh, I think I've uh, got a pretty good mold in there and uh, the, the oven will certainly climb as high as, as I want it to and it'll do a good job I think. So uh, I'll keep, a, keep an update on, on how this process is going and uh, this here is uh, the home built controller that I made to control the, the temperature in the oven. Like I said before, it had a uh, high, medium, and low controls, and that just wasn't any good. So I've got a uh, controller in here, a microcomputer that controls the temperature to uh, within about a half a degree as I want it to. And uh, the muscle uh, for controlling the current is uh, solid state relays. I've got a uh, computer supply and a laptop fan uh, mounted onto that with a heat sink cooling the, keeping the relays cool and so it can do its job. And, and uh, you know, I'll do another video on that later when on the controller itself. But uh, that's where I'm on this blank. I wanted to kind of touch base where we were with the process of it. Uh, those of you that are on the Telescope SA forum, you, you've seen some mirrors that I've been working on that I've been that I've cast myself, and this is how I did it. So uh, right now we're uh, degassing the mold, and uh, we're burning out the organic binder that's in the liner that I used for that mold, and uh, we're gonna cast a uh, borosilicate, aka Pyrex blank, for, the, for this mirror. So that's how I do that. Thanks for watching.